I remember the Saturday of April Conference 1958 uh, very well. The phone rang, I answered it, it was President McKay on the phone. I recognized his voice, he did not identify himself. And I ran out in the yard where Dad was working and got him and followed him in and watched his reaction. He said, in essence, uh, yes sir, I'll be right there. And silently went uh, immediately to his room, showered, changed his clothes and was gone. And the next time I recall seeing him was on the stand at General Conference the next day when he was sustained as the General Authority and assistant to the Twelve. Humbly I seek the blessing of the Lord. I am overwhelmed with a sense of inadequacy. All of them. He's solid. There's nothing small about him. He's been firm in the faith all his days. He takes after his father and his grandfather, who were likewise solid. When I first met him, I thought he was a very unusual man. He was different. Everything he did, he did with a little flair that was typical of him and no one else. He was a lot of fun, but he had wonderful integrity. He never had to worry about what he said or what he did. Since President McKay spoke with me late last evening, I have been wondering about the road that led here. I know that I have not come that road alone, and I feel very grateful for the many men and women who have helped me.